Alright, today I'll be showing you how to get your iPod screen on your computer. Uh, there are two parts to this. Uh, one part you have to download onto your computer and the other part is a download from Cydia. On your computer, which I'm assuming is Windows, I don't know much about Macs, uh, you'll want to go to tightvnc.com slash download. I'll have that link in the description. And you'll want to navigate over to the self-installing package for Windows. You want to install that on your desktop. Um, or save to your desktop, install it, and install the viewer portion of it. You don't really need the other one. So that is all you need to do for the computer portion right now, and let's go to the iPod portion. So in the iPod portion, you'll want to go to uh, Cydia, go to the search bar, and then type in VNC. And while that loads, all right. Uh, this is what you're looking for, VNC, right here. Uh, so click that. And mine says modify because it's already installed, but yours should say install, so install that. And this is a kind of an on-running thing where once you install it, it's done. You don't have to configure anything or turn it on or off, anything like that. You just have to let it go. So after that is done, you want to open up Tight VNC Viewer. And in this box right here, you want to put in your... Uh, iPod's IP address. Now this isn't any personal IP address, this is just the IP address that my router assigned my iPod Touch. So yours should be something similar, something like 192.168.1 or 0 0.100 to like 255 or something. So, so you uh, type that in and then press connect and on your iPod it should say remote access request and since it's you you want to press accept and there you go, you have your iPod's screen. So a little tip to getting your IP address would be to go to SBS settings and right here in this little box it says Wi-Fi IP address and there is my IP address. So that that's just an easy way to figure it out instead of having to navigate through like the settings and Wi-Fi and internet and whatnot. Anyways, that's how you do it. And keep in mind, this is for jailbroken iPods or iPhones or iPads only. Uh, there's no way it would work on a uh, non-jailbroken one because you need Cydia. Anyways, if this helps some, uh, some of you, please uh, like and favorite this video. Don't forget to comment, and uh, I'd appreciate it if you subscribe. Thanks.